What's up, everyone? I'm Steven Learson, and today I'm going to explore the production and aesthetic of one of my favorite bands, Sylvanesso. So Sylvanesso is a duo from Durham, North Carolina, and are made up of singer Amelia Meath and producer Nick Sanborn. And back in 2014, they made their first album, Right in Their Apartment. So their music is a mix of beautiful vocals, samples, synthesizers, and acoustic instruments all kind of mixed together in a creative way. And I read in an interview that they carry a field recorder around when they're on tour. And one time they were in Australia and heard a really cool crosswalk signal. And Sanborn said, we need to record that. Not just because it's a cool sound, but it sounds like there's a song in that sound. Not build a song around it, but if you pull on that sound, you're going to find the song in it. Hey, so I was about to go outside into the world and record some sounds. And I stopped in my kitchen for a bagel and my toaster just made this sound. Check it out. The weird thing is my toaster has never made a sound before. So I took that toaster sound, I cut it up, stretched it out, and pitched it, and now I have some pretty cool bass sounds. On their first record, it sounds like Sylvanesso recorded a lot of the vocals with the window open. So you can actually hear cars going by, and instead of trying to get rid of this ambient sound, they just incorporated it into their music. So I decided to bring a mic to my window and let the magic of the outside world creep in. What is it like for you to see me standing there? Are you just looking for some fun and then you're out of here? Out of here. Sylvanessa do a great job at combining electronic and acoustic instruments, so I recorded some acoustic guitar and paired it with my toaster sample. A lot of the recordings incorporate a kind of lo-fi, trashy drum sound, and I'm in luck because I literally found my drum kit on the curb next to the trash. When it comes to hi-hats, the eighth note upbeat is a common rhythm in their music. So I'm gonna do something similar. And I also took a little blip from my toaster sample and I bit crushed it and distorted it. And now my drums are even stinkier. Since my verses have this intimate feeling of living in a small room, now I can make my choruses huge with a wash of reverb and synthesizers. Yeah. I can't wait to find out. Let's see, toaster sample, check. Vocals in the window, check. Garbage drums, check. I think we have everything we could ever need. What is it like for you? Standing there, are you just looking for some fun and then you're out of here? How do you remember me when it was so long ago? Are you seeing someone or are you alone? the 
trust and now you don't know what to do So there's a few ideas that I picked up from listening to Sylvan Esso on repeat. And I'm not sure if this is what Sanborn meant by finding a song in a sound, but this is my interpretation. And the good thing is, is that these tricks are pretty universal, so you don't just have to use them for the indie synth pop genre or whatever you want to call it. So thanks for watching. If you like this video, please subscribe, ring that notification bell, let me know what you think in the comments, and I'll be back next week with something new for you. All right, we'll see ya.